this money we are extracting slime using SNT Folica one. Now, uh, this is a full basket and another one. So we are extracting from these ones. We have thousands of snails in the farm. So let's go to the refinery where we do the extraction. Uh, we are in the refinery. These are the flickers. Now we're going to load this drum. When we load this drum, per load, we call it per load, each drum contains 25 kg of snail, irrespective of the size. As far as the drum is full, if you have a bigger size, you have a smaller size, as far as the drum is okay, it's 25 kg per load. So we're going to load this drum now and kickstart the extraction process. So this is a full load. The drum is loaded, so we have to close it. So after loading the drum, you cover the drum. But there's something I want to show you. Please come closer. This species of snail, many people confuse this species of snail to be full acre. This is Ashatina immaculanta. Ashatina immaculanta does not have slime. Ashatina immaculanta. We have more than 400 species of Ashatina. So when we talk about Ashatina, Ashatina, Ashatina fulica, especially fulica that produces slime. That's why the machine name is called SNT Fulica 1. Anything aside fulica, under the Ashatina the family, you can get slime. Uh, uh, Ashatina immaculanta, take a look at it. It looks like uh, uh, fulica. It's not. So when you are stocking your farm, we talk about fulica. Don't just tell people you need achatina fulica. They will give you so many types of achatina, which is immaculata, so many species. That is what I want you to know. Now, after loading the drum, the next thing you do is to power it on. The first button powered on, you have to wait for some time, uh, like uh, three minutes. I won't be here because the reaction of it might affect my lungs. So I'll come back in three minutes time. Then after that, other subsequent button can be on. Now the extraction is ongoing. Just 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Now we've Stop the machine. We have a lab 45 minutes. Now let's check what happened here. Can you take a look? Can you take a look at this uh, 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 mucus? They have excreted, they have pulled off every slime in their body. Now let's get the door. Hold on. Let's get the door. Yeah, we have to get the door. We have to get the door. Now look at the snails. Look at what they have excreted out. Can you see the mucus? All the mende mende in their system, they've poured it out. Look at it. Now the snails are alive. They are still alive. Look at them. Very much alive. Look at them. Within a short period of time, you have to allow them to rest. And after the resting, then Oh, see the slime. Now the slime is dripping now. So you have to wait a bit, uh, some few minutes, like 10, 15 minutes. You allow all the slimes in the uh, drum to settle down to the filtration drum. Then we now move these snails now back to the farm. After two months, you bring them back again. You extract from them and you keep extracting from them and after here now, we're going to move to the filtration and the uh, um, 
Microfiltration then freeze drying into powder. But first, let's finish this stage. We take this to the farm. That's what we call the refinery. You keep refining this liquid called snail filtrate from them. Snail slime. My brother, I don't need to tell you how expensive it is. So, let's move to the next stage. They are all coming out after the extraction. Then from this, you take them to the farm to keep living. Now we're going to take them out from this. So we have a total of 599 pieces of snails that enter into the drum. That 599 weigh 25 kg. Now, when the old snail comes out alive, just only six pieces, only six pieces out of the 599 are casualty. So, these ones will be prepared for a special delicacy. Therefore, if we have 900, sorry, 599 into a drum and just uh, six pieces come out dead, then we're on the safer side. So what this is going to do now is we're taking this to the farm to live their life for another extraction. Now let's check the drum for the cold quality and quantity of slime that comes out. Let's check the drum. Now let's check the quantity of slime that comes out. It's still dripping. Now this is this is what we have. Now let's check it. This is one liter. Uh, get me another. So we have approximately. Uh, this is approximately. Approximately one and a half slime, one and a half liter of slime. This is uh, 1,000 ml, which is uh, one liter. Now, this is what comes out of it. The surplus, the surplus that comes out of it. Now, what we're going to do now is we are taking this to the filtration unit. The filtration unit. It's another section where all bacteria, all our germs, this machine does that, but we're going to repurify to microfiltration. Then from microfiltration, we're going to take it to the freeze drying where this liquid will be converted into powder. Thank you. My name remains Engineer Theocracy. These machines are produced in uh, uh, S&T snail production, and uh, from this, we we'll take this slime now to our cosmetics department, which we use for cosmetics, cream, soap, acne, stretch mark, everything about skin repair. We use this in our cosmetics department, along with aloe vera. So if you want to go into the snail slime extraction business, please contact s &T. We get it from the beginning to the end of snail business. Thank you. I remain the humble and short needed culture, the Inspector General of Philom Moloska.
Now from this, we are taking them back to the farm. All are still alive. We have to rehydrate them again and take back to the farm for another month.